wait, wait, I go Rhine. That seems like a normal swap to make. Okay, let's see the Reinhardt, guys. Let's see the Reinhardt. Fire striking air. I'm going to shield for my team. I'm going to trap. I'm not going to even use my shield because shielding is overrated. And then I'm going to die too. <laughs> Basically, here's what happens in games. What happens in games is that people initially pick up the game and then you have your, your, your bell curve distribution, right? Is what happens is, um, right, there's the bell curve of like lower rank players, mid rank players, and then higher rank players, right? The number of players and then the rank. So you got, uh, let's get a different color here. And then the rank and the number, um, number of players. And so what ends up happening is the, obviously the higher ranks, like let's say this is like masters right around here, um, masters and GM, and this is bronze, right? And what ends up happening is that this is a representation of the player skill, but what is skill? Skill is always relative. Skill is relative. But skill is objective in the fact that over time, GM players at the start of Overwatch 2, the top 1% in the first year versus the top 1%, five, six, seven, eight years can change But as people improve at their understanding of the game. And honestly, even just things like mechanics, like the first person shooters are a lot more prevalent nowadays. So it's more normal for the average person. Like I would say the average silver gold player has significantly better mechanics than old silver and gold players. And the question is just why is that? It's not just because they've been playing Overwatch for longer. It's that they've been playing first-person shooters, period, for longer. Um, yeah, skill isn't relative, but rank is, of course, exactly. So what ends up happening is that people play the game more and they get better mechanically. They, I know the matchups better and, and there's, no, there's a lot more clarity about how the game works and how to improve the character. But it's not just that. I think things like educational content is a lot better than it used to be. Like you guys don't remember the dark ages of educational content back in the day. It used to be that Stylosa, do you guys know Stylosa? Stylosa is overanalyzed, which are like relatively brief, humorous, not particularly in-depth VOD reviews, was legitimately the best educational content out there by a lot. Then Iosex started to come around. Iosex put out a lot of really good stuff. I think Iosex was a huge turning point for overwatch for people that were able that were really serious about improving at the game um but there were some content creators back there that were putting out a lot of really crappy stuff there were some other ones that did a lot of no not even jane jane was not around at this point uh there was a lot of really crappy vod reviews with a lot of really bad advice uh i won't i won't name names some of them have, a lot of them have just moved on they're not even in the scene anymore uh, but there just was a lot of bad vod reviews frankly they just didn't give good advice and what ended up happening actually is then you get to like the Jane era, and this is when I started doing VOD reviews. I've always been, I was always relatively small there, but there was like me, and then obviously Jane blew up a lot. But overall, like bad advice, good advice, coaching content, and so on. And so the average player base got a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. The problem is, is the average player base gets better. So if we look at this as like objective skill, all right, skill. Uh, that's supposed to be an I, whatever. Uh, the player base improves over time. So if you're trying to rank up, you're not just trying to get better. Yeah, ragtag, yep. Yeah. But there is, you have to get better in, in comparison to the average player base. Because as somebody that's been coaching since legitimately 2018, I can tell you the average player base has gotten better in every say, same way, shape, and form. You have to beat the skill inflation. Now, it's not very hard to beat the skill inflation. It's not very hard to beat the skill inflation because skill inflation moves very slow. It's, it's a glacier speed, I would say, in most instances, in most instances. Things like Overwatch 2 becoming very popular again, like when it was first released, there was definitely some skill inflation after, after Season 1 or so. so. Season 1 started weird with placements, but because there was a huge influx of brand new players that had never played Overwatch before. And so generally, if you had any experience, you could be a little bit better than them. But then there's also skill deflation as well. Skills but where uh, a lot of the more casual players leave the game because they don't enjoy it. And so it's actually, you have to be quite good to get to high rank. And I think that was definitely true towards the end of Overwatch 1 and, and has often been true in Overwatch 2 as well. Um, so in other words, you have to be the average 
there are skill inflation is just casual players migrating in and out of the game. Because the average noob player, somebody who just wants to play Overwatch 2 because it's really popular right now, is not going to be good at the game. So what they're going to do is they're going to push a lot of the players up a couple of tiers. Yeah. So the real question, though, is like how fast does this black arrow move? And we don't really have any objective way to measure this. Uh, it is objective, of course but we don't know exactly what it is, right? There's a lot of things that are different. Now, Overwatch 1 was also a different game as well, but I think that there was a lot of things that carried over. Uh, there's pro play adjustments. For example, I actually think we're on the downtrend of pro play quality because of the death of the Overwatch League and the lack of competitive practice with a lot of Western teams. There's a lot of factors in play. Uh, I think that if the rank system, depending on how the rank system is perceived, we have an uptick in quality. Like you can have uh, the opposite. You can have ranked uh, inflation, not inflation, but uh, the value of the skill when Overwatch becomes popular is perceived as a good game. Then the game generally becomes more challenging to play and so on. So the question is, is how much has changed in six years? How much has changed in six years? And I think the answer is significant. Now, obviously, my memory says, yeah, definitely players are a lot better than they used to be. I think they understand games better. Their mechanics are better. They understand cover usage. If you guys have been paying attention to my Spylo 2 channel, you've noticed that I've been doing a lot more live coaching. And one of the main reasons why I've been doing that, I'd say 50, 60% of the reason why I've been doing that is because a lot more of my students recently, the last two months, have come in already knowing how to play. Does that mean that they're better players? Maybe not necessarily, but a lot of my content, my coaching is spreading. It's spreading. Uh, it's a small, very small percentage of the player base, 0.1, 0.5%, maybe if, if even that, right? But there are there is a significant amount of players out there that understand in my, so there's a, even the people that I'm working with understand more of like what they're supposed to be doing and off angles and knowing their role. And so I've had the transition to live coaching more to help them not, teach them the game, but how to apply it in game, right? So it's been interesting. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. And I, I think the best metric to look at something, a very small sample size, of course, but something fun to look at is I found something, ladies and gentlemen. I found something yesterday. My brother came over and, and we were perusing around and we found something that you guys might find interesting. Do you guys recognize that voice? Uh, not right now, Gunner. Uh, maybe in a bit. Listen to this. That is a Jane voice. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is... Let me actually look one more time here. <laughs> this is my Grandmaster game. This is from 2018. This is the game that I hit Grandmaster on. This is the grand. This is the first game. This is when I first hit Grandmaster back in 2018, and I saved the game. And I was listening to Jane Vod reviews, uh, pro analysis, to learn how to team coach better. Because his pro analysis at the time was some of the rare pro analysis. So what we're gonna do, chat, is this is going to be log GM because I go on after this game to climb to 4.2 in about a week or two. I climbed, I was in streamer games. I was playing versus J3 and CarQ and Metro and all this kind of stuff. Um, this is the reason why the rank spread was so severe is because this was early morning. I played earlier morning, um, like 10 or 11 a.m. But yeah. Is the movement doesn't have this. <clears throat> no roll lock. I'm in voice. Let's see. Are GM players better than GM players of t uh, today? What do you guys think? I, I haven't seen this game in years. My expectations is that it's going to be bad. Here we go. Nade, sir. Look for a nade. Nade, 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 nade. nade. Don't go die, don't go die. Nade, sir, nade, anything. A single cooldown, a singular cooldown. Please use a cooldown. 
Use any cooldown! Why are you hard scooping versus an Ash? Ash How did she not party? kill me? Can, can you get out there? Oh, rip me, dude. Uh, Sam, do you mind going Lucio? Dude, shoot, 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 we go, we go, we go. No waiting on. No, go, 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 go. Go with the monkey, go with the monkey. I'm closing in her. Scoping in the open there. Oh, and Hanzo. right side. Hanzo, Hanzo. Oh guys, this is this is Grandmaster! I hit Grandmaster this game and I proceed to win. Go like I said, go to 4.2. You got just in heels. Unlucky reset. Reset, reset now. Peek now, don't peek now. Uh, and I want to tell you guys that I played versus the Fran. I played versus J3, Metro, CarQ. I beat these guys. I played, a mo like, I would say over half of my games were streamer games for the next month after this. What? Why are we dying? It's a pick, it's a pick, monkey. You ready? Jump in, line of sight. Oh my gosh, dude, I got headshot. Dude, they're like spawn. Dude, why am I yapping so much? I am such a yapper. She's sleeping? She's sleeping? No, please! This is Grandmaster! You know, actually, the lobby, I would say, is more mid masters. But I. Reset, 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 reset. I'll grab finally. They have something for that beat. Alright, we go. We're down. We're, we're, we're even. Do you. Th but see, that's the thing, Eerie. The thing is, is that Overwatch 1 was only marginally different. With Overwatch 1, you needed a lot more proactivity and you had the priority of healing tank more. However, there's been multiple times you guys have already seen where there have been opportunities for offensive nades. There have been opportunities. Uh, for shots when somebody's full HP and I'm not taking it. I'm also dying repeatedly to snipers. I'm throwing cooldowns at random. Uh, Nade in general wasn't that much different in Overwatch one. Th these are these are definitely fundamentals. Now if I'm th I'm not hard flanking as Ana. In fact, I'm not really having the opportunity to take many angles. The main change between Overwatch one and Overwatch two is the import the ability for support to take more aggressive angles. But the offensive output was 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 approximately similar with a little bit more intensity towards healing. She's one. She's one. I would say this would be low diamond. Be, okay? At least a full rank lower. At least. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I think I was just slamming my desk. I'm grabbing. They're gonna beat, okay? Okay. Go, go, go. Tracer behind you guys. Tracer behind you guys. Tracer behind you guys. Uh, I play was playing for two nice. and a half nice. hours a day. Two and a half hours per day. I think there and have been be for some gold weeks, moments months. in this GM game. And I promise you that I'm a better on a now, if not at this exact, within 24 hours that I am here. Even though I haven't played consistent on a Overwatch in two years, three years. Behind. Need help on the Widow behind. The, 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 the Mercy, the Mercy, the support, the Mercy. The support. Card. Discord, Discord, Mercy. Well, they've addressed the distribution, Stefano, as far as we know. I mean, this is good unreal. Pick, good pick, good pick. This is yeah, so yeah. bad. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up. Come here, come here. Well, that was, that was. The nano, he's stuck at the nano. Wins it if you want to go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trent. My cover shot, usage shot, is bad. I'm not taking Heal. smart duels when and how I should be. I'm on card, I'm on card. No heals, no heals, no heals. I'm still on card, I'm still on card. I'm dying repeatedly because I'm forgetting that. Oh, yeah, sniper can see dude. Easy picks. What do they have? What do they have? Gosh. Ho, 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 ho. I can't see Diva. Unlucky, unlucky. Hey, Ash, Ash coming in. We triple tanked this. I didn't even realize that. Okay, 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 okay. I have not hit an anti nade since Overwatch 1. Careful, careful, careful. 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 Careful, careful, what am I doing? I'm actively walking in the open! Reset, reset, reset. I could have nano that lose, Zen lose, as well. No, this Jane's not in this. I was listening to a Jane Pro analysis while this was happening. Let's go. Let's go for look for this grab. Look for this grab. 
Yeah, the amount of opportunities the Suns miss that nade. Big or sleep. Go, 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 go! Yeah, it's fucking huge. How about Zoe? Who's behind? How do I miss that, bro? Oh, the that was some nice juke in there, bro. Oh my gosh, this strafing is horrible. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Oh my gosh, that is awful. That is awful. Basically, all my nades are like praying the Ryan drop shield. Yeah, the okay, demons are getting okay, super okay. slept. That was a good save. Hey, 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 hey. Nice nade there. That's like my Go! best. This is like my best. That's like my best fight so far. All the way to the spawn. All the way to the spawn. We go. That was like my best fight so far. All so we ended on again. I'm gonna shut up. Fucking roll, dude. Those big chatters. What the fuck? Let's go. <laughs> hey. Congrats. Wait. Yes! Yes! I did it! I did it! So, I mean, you guys get what I'm saying. Like, this is, uh, I mean, the, the level of play is just astonishingly much lower. Like, this, this would, I would say, is at least 30, at least 700 SR. And again, I, this was, this, I continued, I'm telling you, after this game, I would say this was a little bit worse than my average game back then, just off of my gut feeling. I don't know how accurate that is. But after this game, I didn't stop here. Like, I actually went on the next couple of weeks and climbed the 4.2 uh, and stayed there. And then for about a week, and then I ended up retiring and never didn't play a ranked game for almost two years. Um, but yeah, long story short, this is... Overwatch, it is a different game than it used to be back there. It is a different game than it used to be back there in fact i could i could do you one i could do you guys one more here i could do you guys one more because like why are we only looking at the higher ranks here you guys want to see something even worse check this out 2017 this is gold no roll lock i don't even have a harmony orb on who do i have it on anna Let's enjoy this gold gameplay from almost 2018. Come on. Yeah, there's a it's a it's the watering thing for the cat, Stefano. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm staring at this is gold. This is gold. What am I doing here? Why am I walking for where where are you going? Where are you going? What am I doing? What is blood waffling about? I won't we won't watch the full game here, but we'll watch a couple of minutes and then I'll show you guys another map. I have not done a single tick of damage in 30 seconds. That was my first damage there. Why am I walking towards the Ana? Why am I shooting the Ana? This is gold, guys. This is gold. Let's keep watching. I died again. Why am I here? What am I aiming at? What am I aiming at? Why am I here? What am I aiming at? Why am I here? Let's keep going. I swap Lucio. Oh, you're going to love this, guys. You're going to love this, guys. You're going to love this because that's exactly what we needed. We needed a Lucio hero. That's exactly what we needed. This is gold. This is average. This is average. The average player here. That wall has never felt more refreshed. Yes. Nice boop on the bubble there. In fact, I actually think I remember this game. I think I had a lot. Oh, look at that tracking. Wow. I actually think I had a lot of healing this game. I actually think I remember feeling like I did a lot stats wise. Let's see how I use my, what I use my B for. What do I use my B for? Oh, blade. Ah! I almost Ajax that. What do I play? Do I? Oh, I wait, wait. I go Ryan. That seems like a normal swap to make. Okay, let's see the Reinhardt, guys. Let's see the Reinhardt. Fire striking error. I'm gonna shield for my team. I'm gonna trap. I'm not gonna even use my shield because shielding is overrated. And then I'm gonna die. <laughs> This is 
is mid gold. This is bronze, bro. This isn't just bronze. This is bronze like three or four. I just coached bronze twice in the past couple of weeks. Bronze won. It was better than this. I am. I would bet my left arm on that. It is. I like. I, I remember distinctly having this feeling of pride of how much damage I'd blocked. Look at this. I, I, I don't think I've swung since Vietnam. Here comes the shatter. Oh. <laughs> what, why am I pinning? What, what circumstance did I see a pin to be the right reasonable option there? Oh my days. Oh, I'm still swinging or still shielding. Oh gosh, can I kill this guy? Surely I can. I missed a swing, that's good. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, come on, guys, come on. Spy low, spy low, spy low, spy low, spy low. Yes! Yes! He's the greatest ever. Ah, oh, what a what a, what a Chad, man. What a Chad. This guy is so good, man. This guy is uh, that's actually insane. Again, that is average. That is average in Overwatch 1 at that time. All right, this isn't even release. This is a solid year and a half after release. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot about this time in my life when everybody oh oh no. Oh no. Why am I not flying? Do I just what am I, what's the plan? What's well I still haven't you pressed the button! Oh look at me, I'm damage boosting here. I'm gonna really damage boost this Reinhardt. We're gonna really damage boost this Reinhardt. I actually don't remember this. Okay, that Reinhardt is gonna be so effective here. Look, look at that. I'm gonna damage boost the Reinhardt, but not the soldier standing right next to him actually doing something. I'm, I'm literally, I, 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 every action is random. Look at this. Okay, we're gonna heal my Reinhardt, who's full HP. I'm just gonna. Ah! <laughs> what did I do? No! 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 What is going on? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Guardian Angel into the wall. Oh, <laughs> Ryan. I, I don't even think, I'm, I'm not even healing. I'm not even heal potting. I'm not even heal potting. Yeah, cooldown management is perfect. I've not misused a single cooldown. That is true. Bro, I cannot believe this, man. You think Mercy is bad now? Bro, back then she had nothing. No super jump, nothing. I, I don't even remember what her ult. I don't remember if this is before or after Mercy rework. Like, you, you didn't even have a res on the... You had nothing. You, you, you couldn't do anything. Oh, my days. Did I even use my ultimate? Wait, what did I do? Yeah, look, it's mass res. That's, that is, that is insane. Do I just go back to Floresio? Yeah, I guess so. The level of play, ignoring the last couple of games. The level of play has definitely improved. I think whether you're talking about gold, bronze, top 500, I think the level of play has improved. I think first person shooter fundamentals, even if it's not Overwatch fundamentals has improved. Aim, people, first person shooters are a lot more popular. People have higher frame rates on their computer. People have more, understand the importance of mouse pad. I remember the, the word EDPI was like this crazy complicated thing. And like, oh man, wow, you have 144 frames. Whoa, like aim train. And, and there was all this kind of, oh, there's all these myths out there about like, the importance of a good crosshair was like everything, dude. And there's like all these aim hacks and aim secrets and all this kind of things. And it was like people were like, there was like all sorts of like uh, <clears throat> conspiracy theory stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it, it it's crazy. Like it's actually kind of crazy because you go back and you're like, <clears throat> it didn't even matter all that much. It didn't really matter all that much. <laughs>